guys, thanks for watching that quick little flight test. I am here on the bench with something new again this morning, and uh, this is pretty awesome. It is the name of the product. It's awesome. UBXV 130. It is a 130 millimeter racing drone with 600 TVL camera, 5.8, and it's running on standard 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, you can run this on several different types of receivers. You can hook up your Spectrum receiver, you can hook up Butaba, or you can hook up an S Bus FR Sky receiver. I'm running an X4R on there. Uh, also, by the way, it has 20 amp all in one BL Heli S ESC stack underneath the flight controller and the flight controller is an F3 it's made by the same manufacturer that manufactures DJI equipment and electronics so you have a very very nice board in here uh, very nice electronics on this one now it does come with uh, quad props on here right away you notice these kind of iconic quad props it looks a lot like the rotor X style frame it's got sort of a flat profile across the front and uh, rear slung motors on the back. Now the motors are 1306. Uh, see if I can look really close and tell you the KV on them. So they're 3600 KV, which is really, really awesome for uh, these smaller motors. You get a really high, high KV um, kilovolt per rotation for these motors. So you're gonna get max power with this. It does come also with this dipole. Um, one of the things I didn't like about it right away was that there's no hole in the side of this canopy. The canopy is fairly easy to remove, but I like to see a hole right here for the USB port because every time I make a different change in clean flight or beta flight, whichever you decide to run on this, you have to take the canopy off and that's kind of annoying. Um, plenty of opening here in the front for camera tilt. You can probably add some more if you want. You want to prop the camera up with a little more maybe uh, sticky tape underneath the camera, some VHB under there. Uh, one of the things that I'm not a huge fan of also are these bullet style nuts on the top. I'd like to see standard nuts on the top of these motor. They are standard three millimeter motors, so if you want to replace these and add a nut on there, it's going to be a little easier to work with on the bench, uh, taking the props on and off. Those standard size nuts are a lot better. Um, and then again, those, and like I said, those are three millimeter nuts. Um, two screws here will help free the canopy up, and then you can take this dipole antenna off and then the whole thing will pop off. Uh, there are two snaps in the front here and also two snaps back here. But what I did was I ran my antennas from my receiver out the bottom here uh, and just pulled them a little bit out so I don't lose connection uh, and also so they're not quite long enough to get up into the props here. Now looking at the bottom of the frame, it has my battery strap underneath there as well that comes along with it and you get two sets of props with this there's the other set of props quad props uh, i'm probably going to also test out some dowel props on here and if you didn't notice in the very back of this quad there's a mini xt30 i believe uh, on the back here let me double check yeah that's a mini xt30 on there so i don't have any batteries with xt30 connector so they did include this which is super awesome it's a little converter over to standard JST. So you just plug this in there and this comes along with the quad. So you can I can run my 3S Nanotech on the bottom here. I've got an 850 milliamp 3S Nano uh, that I'm going to run on it for my, my testing. But um, this proved plenty powerful enough. Now I will help you out and I'll show you guys in Clean Flight. Uh, this one came with Clean Flight on it. Some of them come with Beta Flight. Uh, if you want to flash beta flight on yours and yours came with clean flight, you can do that by simply soldering the uh, boot tab right next to the USB connector. And I'll show you that too um, in just a minute when I pop the top. So uh, you also have a two millimeter bottom plate on here, a two millimeter carbon bottom plate. So for for this type of quad, that's a pretty standard size uh, for a, a 130 Yeah, two millimeter on there. I'll go ahead and pop the top for you. 
Now what I like the most about this quad is that this is another no build quad. So you don't have to build this one. This one comes already built. And like I've been saying, I really don't enjoy building the little tiny quads, the 130s, because uh, they get kind of crammed. But now that we have these all-in-one ESCs, it really cleans up a lot on these quads. So you have no ESCs hanging out on the arms and it makes for a really clean build. The cleaner, the better. So you want to pop these two tabs in the very front and that'll release it up near the camera. Now you can just work it off. It's going to be stuck on the antenna a little bit. So here we go. Just pop this off. Now I stuck my receiver up on the top of the canopy with a little piece of VHB. And I ran my antennas down and under the flight controller ESC stack and out the back. Try to push this over to the side here. I should have the props off right now. So whenever you hook this up to beta flight or clean flight, make sure, for God's sake, you take your props off. Now you can see on here, this is another all-in-one board flight controller here. It's it's pretty decent. This is a VTX integrated into the flight controller and you have your antenna coming out right here. Uh, and you also have your button next to the antenna, which lets you change frequencies. You can also do, uh, let's see, 25 milliwatt, 200 and 400 milliwatt on this VTX. So that's pretty cool, uh, all running on 5.8. And I have my antenna plug coming out the side here. They do give you an extra couple wires there so you can choose which one you want. But that's the port you're going to come out the side of uh, from the flight controller to your receiver. And uh, this is UART3, by the way. If you're looking for this in clean flight in the ports section, it's going to be U UART3. Um, so you'll want to make sure you have on UART3, you want to have serial RX checked um, to get that port active and and your uh, clean flight to see it on your flight controller but it really does make a really nice um, stack here it's it's really unbelievable that we have 20 amp ESCs on this because we can run up to 4s on this quad and 4s 850 battery would be pretty insane you'd have tons of rip and power uh, you're gonna get tons of hang time with these quad props on here super 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 floaty if you want to do freestyle with this 130. Generally I don't do freestyle maneuvers with the 130s that much but now they're getting so powerful and they're having so much float that I'm actually starting to do a little more freestyle with these but these do make great close proximity racers and you have plenty of camera tilt up here with this included little camera mount here check that out it's pretty decent And you should be able to stack some VHB underneath here if you wanted to get a little more tilt. Now you might have to unscrew this here. It puts a, maybe a longer screw in the front. Uh, but you could get more tilt if you want to. So that's the way I have mine configured. And one, one other thing that I, that I don't like, see there's the USB connector on the side there. Um, that's not going to be exposed. Uh, one other thing that I didn't really like about this design, um, and I have to tell you these things, uh, the way this cable comes out on the side here, this canopy comes really close to it. So you have to be really careful that you're not pinching these cables too much uh, because one wrong move and you could sever your cables here and then have to put a new connector on there. So unless you have another one of these around, you laying around, you want to be super careful when you put the canopy back on that you don't pinch stuff. Uh, and also watch out that you don't scratch your camera on the front. But let's go ahead uh, and hook this one up to clean flight. And I'll show you my settings that I have on my UV XV 130 Okay guys, if you're new to Clean Flight and you've never used it before, go ahead to Google Chrome and in that browser, go ahead and type in Chrome Web Store and search in the Web Store for Clean Flight. Download the latest version of it and get it installed on your computer. It does work on Mac, Linux, or OS um, for Mac. So go ahead, once you have your Clean Flight downloaded, hook up your USB cable to the side of your Mac and to your USB port on your UB130. 
uh, go ahead and connect and this is the first screen you're going to see here and you can see this axis um, heading and pitch and roll here you want to check left right forward and back this is very important because when you first try to hover if this isn't correct it will not hover uh, you'll, you'll have a crash uh, also very important to make sure your props are on right which I have done from time to time not paying attention I had one prop on wrong or two props on wrong and had a total failure in my first hover um, also another tip for you guys when you're first setting these up do not try to FPV hover it first uh, always fly at line of sight first and do your testing your hover test first before you uh, do your first initial flight because it could fly up and hit you in the head um, so we don't want that to happen now the next screen you're going to look at here is the port screen and i have an fr sky receiver on here and i have it set up to msp uart1 here over here we have rx serial set to uart3 because that's where that little cable is coming out of it's actually coming out of uart3 uh, go ahead when you've done that save and reboot every time you make a change inside clean flight you want to save it uh, even if you have to save and reboot so we do have one shot 25 on those escs and it does support that uh, down at the very bottom i turned off black box here that was checked on but i turned it off because i'm not going to use that um, and when you do that save and reboot again now for my fail safe I also have it set to drop instead of land land will have the minimum amount of uh, idle throttle and it'll kind of bring it down to a gentle landing but to avoid a possible flyaway in a confusion I just have it to drop save and reboot that after you do that now my PID settings screens I'm gonna go ahead and show all PIDs here so you guys can see what's going on and you can pause the screen right here and take these values and put them on your UB 130 uh, also my pitch roll and rate I always have set to 0 0.70 that's a pretty quick roll if you're new to this that's gonna make it fly really really nimble if you want to back this down to 0.25, that'll make it fly a little less nimble, um, a little less twitchy. I, I like my quads to be kind of twitchy. So now we'll go down to the receiver and I'll turn on my transmitter for you and I'll plug in the quad and make sure that you have your props off when you're working like this on the bench and you're setting this up. Now the bottom receiver mode, RX serial needs to be checked here and S bus needs to be checked. If you're using the X4R FR Sky receiver, make sure that you have it set up like this and the way I showed you in the ports and go ahead and press save here. And once you do that, you should see stick movement. Throttle up, down. Your right stick over on the right hand side is gonna be your roll axis left and right and forward and back. So when you press up, it should go up like this. And when you pitch back, it should go back like this using the right stick up and down, roll left, right. Y'all stick on the other side, on the throttle side, pushing to the left, it should go left. Y'all should go to the right. That's all correct there. Uh, also, one other thing in the configuration, I set my minimum throttle to 1000 here uh, for, for these motors, these particular motors. You can set that to 1050 if you want to. That was the stock setting. Uh, but I have mine set to 1000 there. Now I'll go back down to the receiver. And everything's good there. Also, for your modes, I have mine on AUX2. So in the modes tab, when you set your modes up, make sure that you change this little tab here to the corresponding uh, auxiliary channel that you're going to have your modes on. So my mode switch is set to auxiliary 2 here and my arm switch is on auxiliary 3. And you can go back and check those in the channel map here on the receiver. But that's pretty much it you guys. I'm running angle and horizon on mine. I'm not running air mode. You can also add that if you want to. Um, later on you can also add a beeper if you want to on a channel. I don't have a beeper to add on this one at the current time but it does have a spot for it on the PDB um, or right underneath the flight controller. So you have a five volt out uh, for your beeper. Pretty sweet. There's some nice uh, extra ports on the bottom of that flight controller you can check out. But that's pretty much it for the setup, guys. If you have any questions, please do put them in the comments below. And uh, hopefully myself or somebody else can help you out with your UBXV 130 So thanks again for joining the channel. And uh, I really hope this video helped you guys out with your XV-130. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.